up, everybody? It's Alex, um, your new home know it all. And today, uh, we're taking a look at another home out in um, Tomball, Tomball, Texas. And uh, we're in this wonderful community called uh, Alexander Estates. And they're building this fairway collection. And I know I just talked to you about a whole bunch of things. So we're in Tomball at the beautiful community of uh, uh, Alexander Estates. And today, we're looking at the Canatron or the Cantron, Cantatron, or however you want to pronounce it. It's a beautiful one story. It's 25, 48, hundred square feet, you know, 25, 48, hundred square feet and four bedrooms, three and a half baths. And the garage actually has a lot of space. So this has been a real big favorite of uh, customers that actually come out and take a look at it because you really can't get a good perspective from the virtual tour, uh, but you really, really need to take a look at it. So if you have time, schedule an appointment to come see one. Um, but without further ado, let's get on with this. Take a look at the uh, camera. This is just, uh, I think, what elevation was this? Sorry. This was just the Elevation D. Um, I, I found that Elevation E has been more popular, but that's just me, All right? Let's just go right into uh, maybe taking a look at the space, go right inside. So once you come in to the front door, right? Um, and let's just see the lay of land first, right? So once you come in through the front door, um, you, you have a study on one side and a bedrooms uh, and have a bathroom in between, right? Um, bathroom looks like the vanity is pretty, you know, got a long, long size vanity. So let's take a look at that. So when you come on in, you got those two bedrooms on on either side. Let's take a look at the size of the bedrooms too, right? Pretty decent, you know? Well, they're, they're 10 by 10 by 12, right? Let's go into the uh, restroom. So the bathroom, really long vanity. So, I mean, if you know, you got the two kiddos that are sharing this bathroom, should be um, nice, nice amount of space. For sure, okay? Um, so let's go take a look at this bedroom up in front. So maybe it's not used as a bedroom, maybe it's used as an office, but pretty cool. Lots of length, these bedrooms up in front. I always like these bedrooms up in front. Um, because they're so versatile, right? Whether they're a study or not a study, but this one has a study already. Forgot all about that. Yeah, I'm talking about a study. So really spacious, nice size window. You got these double um double doors that are that have the glass inserts, so really nice there. Okay. Let's just look back at the door, the four space. So really tall. These are eight-foot doors, by the way. You know, and you got a transom window up on top. So uh, really, really nice space. You know, really wide hallways as well, too. So these tiles, I mean, just from looking at it, these are 18-inch tiles. So pretty wide hallway, right? You know, coming on in. And there's a powder room. I don't know. I got this pet peeve. Um, and I think some of you can say this as well, too. I actually like having the, 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 the cover down on a commode when when it's not occupied. Oh, I seem to be rocking back and forth and it's driving me crazy. All right, so let's get into the living room. Anyways, anybody else has that pet peeve, comment below if you have that pet peeve of leaving the actual lid, not just putting a seat down, but the lid. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go and talk about that so much. We're touring a home. Let's get, let's get past that. All right, so let's see Layla Land again as well too okay so coming into the foyer space um you got this little art niche over here right so kind of cool a little sitting area where you can kind of sit chillax maybe talk to the chef while they're cooking yeah um so a little cubby space over here right above the refrigerator and really long island take a look at that oh my goodness right. so the other side of the island well, remember right yes got these little cubbies over here too nice little drawer i gotta have a place to put the wine what i say yeah so nice counter space and you know what the, the the sink and and the stove they're not like they're not right against each other which is great but this is actually really wide as well again these are 18 inch tiles so this is a really nice wide space here for work you know so in here this is the pantry they have the pantry door closed why do you have the pantry door closed i have no idea but take a look at this pantry look at that really huge right 
and then uh, to the side, utility room, and to, to the garage. So, utility room, nice space, garage. I wish I could open the door, but you know what? You want to see a garage? Book an appointment with me, okay? Then, then you'll see a garage. Because take a look at this. It's a two-car garage, but there's so much storage. To tell you the truth, you can probably park two sedans, two small sedans in here. And I'm not saying it's a three-car garage. Maybe they don't want me to say that, but I've been in it. You can park two small cars there, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not two Cadillacs, like I like. Uh, well, maybe a coupe, maybe two coupes. Anyways, um, the living space. Really, really tall ceilings. Like, listen, I'm I'm six feet tall. When I stand over here, I mean, I'm gonna come up to here. The ceilings are really, really high, okay? Um, and then this dining area as well, too. Really, really nice. I know it says 10 by 12, but man, it's a massive space. You know, most customers are looking at this like, I mean, am I using it the formal, as a formal dining room? Most people are thinking to themselves, uh, or actually they're telling me that uh, they're probably going to use it as some sort of kind of media area or game room or even stuff like a like a bar, kind of a lounge area, but pretty cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cool people area. I like that. I like that. Right. So, ah, I don't want to exclude everything else that's in the back. Let's go over there. You didn't even know it was back there, right? Boom. Let's go. Kind of cool. So, uh huh. Primary room back here. Let's go to that, let's go to that, I can't resist. Look at this. Okay, so that's a king bed, by the way. You know, I think from uh, the video, it's hard to really tell, right, the, um, the picture frame. Um, but these are really large um, side vanities as well too, right? Let's just stand up here so we get a better angle. You know, and you get your tray ceiling as well too. You can put a chair in here. It's just, there's just a lot of space. It's a nice bedroom size, right? Let's go right into the mat. So, got your commode area. I think a linen closet. Let's just take a double check. Um, owner's retreat. Yep, you got a commode area and a linen closet. So, in that order, commode, linen, and um, area for him, area for her. Uh, sorry, guys. That's just how it works. That's how it works, right? <gasps> Mud set shower included. Yes. Why? Because it should be. Yeah, should be. No, there is no door here. You don't get a door here because you don't need it because the shower head's going that way. Believe me, it's really deep. You don't, you don't need a shower door. Anyways. That's the closet. Nice size. Lots of room. Lots of room to roll around. Let's go take a look at that secondary bedroom that's all the way across over here. Let's do the jaunt. Choo. And, wow, okay, whoever gets this bedroom made it, I tell you, right? I mean, because, okay, this is this is a two bedrooms up in front and you had that master bedroom over there, right? And then the super duper bedroom over here with this ginormous closet all to themselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I wonder. Wonder who's gonna get that closet? So and a full bath. So this is all awesome. uh, this is fabulous, man. If you didn't notice, right? Let me head back over here. Okay, let me head back outside. I want to talk about this. Okay, listen. So you got you got a primary room over here, right? You got two bedrooms over here, and you got another bedroom across the home over here. So everybody's kind of like has their own little space, so to say. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool, yep. Anyways, Cantron, you got four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 25, 48 square feet, really, really tall ceilings, three car garage. This is an amazing plan. I can't say enough, I mean, for a one story, it is, it's great. I mean, uh, it has everything. Look at the owner's retreat. So I mean, pretty decent size, right? Um, it, it doesn't have a tub, but look at that shower size. And you know what? The second bathrooms have a tub. You need to soak your feet. Just go to the other bathroom. To soak your feet. But other than that, I mean, it's got the big shower already. You know, if you want to put a shower seat near yourself, go ahead and just put a little bench. It's good to go. And remember, for those of us that have that extra golf cart, Harley, you know, or if you have, you know, two CTS coupes, it'll fit there. I think it'll fit there. Anyways, it's just me. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Um, my name is Alex Sung. 
your new home know it all. If you want to find out more about any of these homes, um, need some help uh, with uh, purchasing a home, if you have a colleague that, that needs to talk to me, message me uh, and uh, we can get in touch. But do me a favor, smash that like button so you know I can come up better on your feed and follow me so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again, folks. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.